Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here, coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about why it pays to proactively pursue the purchase market. Now, those of you south of the Canadian U.S. border have had a recent reminder of why it's so important to be able to diversify beyond the refi market because you guys have been getting uh, fat and happy on refis with this uh, recent refi boom where we've had crazy historic lows and people have been shooting fish like it's been like shooting fish in a barrel getting those refis and so recently there was that half a point increase in the uh, conventional refi game and all of a sudden you realize that this foundation you've been standing upon has been relatively precarious. In other words, it could change at any time. And so if you haven't noticed by now, it's maybe critical that you diversify beyond the purchase business because at any point rates can go up. And as rates go up, that refi business starts to dry up and you don't want to be caught with your pants down, unequipped and ill-equipped and be noticed that your income literally gets cut in half overnight because you don't have anything to replace all that refi business. So that's why we're going to be pounding that drum hard in the next coming weeks, how important it is to pursue the purchase market and to be intelligent and strategic about it. And today is certainly no exception. So uh, what we're going to talk about are seven different reasons why it pays it pays in spades to start to be more deliberate, more intelligent, and more strategic in attracting that purchase business. So let's start with the first one. The first reason why it pays to go after the purchase market is it's more reliable and predictable. And you've, again, gotten that recent reminder with that Fannie Mae, Freddie, ba Freddie Mac half a point increase in uh, the refi business on those conventional refis, all of a sudden now you got to quote a higher rate and some of those are going to fall through. Chances are a good chunk of those deals are going to fall through just because the client doesn't want to pay that extra half a point. So if you do a good job selling them on the value with the difference between what they used to have and even with the increase, you can chances are still capture and keep some of those refi deals in your pipe but you got to be knowing there's a few of them that are going to fall through the cracks just because they're so price conscious or because they already had uh, a deal that, uh, you know, a rate that was less than half a point higher before. So it doesn't make any sense to refi for a higher rate. So the purchase market in the contrast is very different because regardless of what's going on in the market, regardless of whether uh, it's a great market or whether it's a so-called a recessionary market, we know one thing. People are always going to be getting into the market, moving up into the market. They're always going to be getting married. They're always going to be getting divorced. They're always going to be dying. And so what that means is there's always going to be transactions in the purchase market. People are going to be relocating. People are going to get jobs in different cities and different states and different provinces. And what that means is there's always going to be transactions happening no matter what is going on with the economy, no matter what's going on with rates. So it gives you a more success, certain, reliable, and dependable source of business. On top of that, it's anchored to transactions with purchase agreements. So rather than having your business founded on quicksand, where people can pull out at any time, which is basically the situation with refis, they can back out at the 11th hour. With a purchase business, once that deal goes firm, it's a done deal with rare exception. So what that allows you to do is you can always forecast 30 to 60 to 90 days out where your revenues are going to be. Not so much on the refi business. You can forecast next month, but if you have rates go up in the meantime, all of a sudden that income gets cut in half. So you're not founding your business on a solid foundation. You're founding it on quicksand. And so having that reliability and dependability gives a great amount of peace of mind. You can sleep well at night knowing that revenue is not just forecasted, it's absolutely certain, especially if you have it well diversified. So for example, if you have 10, 15, 20 deals in your pipe set to close with purchase agreements in the next 30 days, you can count on at least 80 to 90 to 95% of them to close because again, they have purchase agreements. So that's the kind of business 
that I want to have. I want a business where I know where the money's coming from, where I can plan ahead, where my spouse can plan ahead. We can plan ahead for retirement. We can plan ahead for investments. We can plan ahead for other things we want to do, vacations and so on. If you don't know where that income is going to come from, it makes it very difficult to plan ahead. And that causes a lot of stress and sleepless nights. Some of you know that to be true. You have intimate acquaintance with that experience. So this is how you solve that problem. Build a well-diversified purchase business. Now, the second reason why it pays to pursue the purchase market is you get more commission per deal, more dough per deal. If you analyze your numbers, you'll notice you make an average commission per deal that's higher on the purchase side than on the refi side. And so that means you're earning more while working the same or less. And that's another great reason to be pursuing the purchase market is you're earning more per deal. Why the heck not, right? If you have an opportunity to make more per deal, you should absolutely take it. And the other cool thing is you can strategically align yourself with top producing agents who make you their exclusive. If you know the secret sauce that we bring to the table, that's just normal and Planet Prosper, we do that all day long. And one of the reasons why we go after top producing agents is not just because they have more clients to send, not just because they have a higher capacity to send you more deals more often. It's also because they tend to work with more affluent clientele who have bigger ticket transactions, which means you're getting paid more per deal. So you can start to strategically uptick your average commission per deal, which means again, you're earning more while working the same or less hours if you have a systematized fulfillment process and makes it quite easy to dial up your income without necessarily dialing up your workload. So that's really cool. The third reason why it pays to pursue the purchase market is it's driven by referral if you're working smart. Now, if you're working hard, then you're just getting people to pass out three business cards and the clients having to choose which one they think is best and has the best rate. But if you're aligning yourself with top producing agents who make you their exclusive and you're providing a world-class first, first class experience to your clients such that they give you five-star reviews and such that they are naturally inclined to send you more referrals, now you've got that third party endorsement factor where you know people are coming to you pre-cooked and pre-tenderized and hot for what you got, predisposed to work with you before they even talk to you because of the emphatic praise they hear about you from the referral source, whether it be a realtor partner or a client. And that's the way you want it because, you know, stick a fork in them, bring the barbecue sauce, they're done like dinner, right? They're not shopping you, uh, they're not as rate conscious, and they're more likely to send you referrals because people who come to you by referral tend to continue that chain of awesome and send referrals after the transaction's done, after you've blessed their socks off and given them a five-star experience, they're naturally gonna wanna continue that chain of awesome and send you referrals as well. Have you noticed that to be true? If so, you absolutely know that this is the honey pot you wanna be digging into all day, every day, because not all sources of business are created equal you're not gonna have the same level of profitability, the same level of fun and fulfillment, and the same level of lifetime value of the client in the form of repeat and referral business from a person who comes from the uh, you know online search or comes from Zillow or comes from uh, paid leads or comes from those sorts of consumer direct advertising methods than you would from a referral from a top producing agent in your market who says you're the go-to mortgage pro they know, like, and trust, and you're the preferred lender, right? There's a very different level of quality of transaction, quality of client, and the lifetime value of that client in the form of repeat and referral business. Most people don't take that into account. They just kind of see them all the same. They're all just a lead. No, they're not all just a lead. One lead is a pain in the ass, they're rate shopping you, the transaction is a pain in the ass, the transaction is way more work, way more time, way more drama and trauma, way less referrals and repeat business, and you're getting paid way less for it with one lead, and then for the other one, you're getting paid way more, having way more fun, way more fulfillment, way more joy, way more referrals, way more five-star reviews, way more repeat and referral business and they're way less rate conscious and they're just a joy to work with. Which one would you prefer? 
I'll take the latter all day long. And I know you would too. So that's another reason why you want to proactively pursue the purchase market. Now, the fourth reason is that purchase drives more five-star reviews. You may have noticed that. Take five, take uh, 10 transactions from refis where they're doing a refi to either just lower their monthly payment or they're doing a refi to do an equity cash out or maybe wipe out some debts or fund an education for their kids or whatever the case may be or fund a renovation. And then you take 10 other transactions where you help someone get into their dream home, get out of making their landlord rich and get into the pride and joy of home ownership. 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna find that you're gonna get way more five-star reviews from the purchase clients than you will from the refi clients. Have you noticed that to be true? Chances are you have. So that is yet another chain of awesome because what happens is when those five-star reviews get onto your digital profile, they're working 24 seven for you while you sleep. They don't call in sick. They don't go partying all night long and wake up groggy. They're working for you 24 seven, singing your emphatic praise, endorsing you as the go-to mortgage pro. And if you have enough of them, which is another one of the elements of the secret sauce we bring to our clients, if you have enough of those five-star reviews such that you have more five-star reviews than any of your competitors, you become the only logical choice. And now when people search for a mortgage provider in your market on Google, you show up top of the list with more five-star reviews and they call you up. You, got, you get the clicks, you get the calls, you get the cash. And that's the kind of preeminent market dominance we want you to capture. And you're gonna capture more of that faster and get into that dominant position faster if you are proactively attracting more purchase business and capturing more market share in the purchase business. Does that make sense, guys? So that's the fourth reason. The fifth reason why it pays to go after the purchase market is purchase is less rate conscious. Now, are some purchase buyers rate conscious? Absolutely, yes, they are. But if you take 10 that are refi and 10 that are purchased, you gotta be knowing that if the purchase ones are coming by referral from clients or your realtor partners, you're gonna have way higher likelihood of people being rate conscious on the refi side than the purchase side. Why? Well, because people refi for one reason primarily, to save money. They're trying to save money by doing equity takeout. They're trying to save money by you know wiping out their debts. They're trying to save money just to lower their payments. So the whole point of a refi is because they're price conscious. And so they're trying to get the lowest rock bottom rate. On the flip side with purchase business, they're going for something very different. They're going for an upgrade in lifestyle. They're going for a total new experience of what it feels like to live in a home that's safe and quiet in a peaceful neighborhood in a beautiful part of town. That pride of home ownership, the joy and delight of having a beautiful abode to raise a family in. That's a very different motivation than just doing something to save some pennies, right? So that's another reason why you want to be going after the purchase business. You're not having to deal with rate shoppers and looky loos and tire kickers to waste your time all day long, right? So that's the fifth reason. The sixth reason why it pays to go after the purchase business proactively is it's more recession proof. It's more recession proof. We talked about that already, right? No matter what's going on with the market, no matter what's going on with rates, no matter what's going on with the economy, People are gonna to continue to get into the market, move up in the market. People are gonna to continue to die, buy, uh, relocate, get married, get divorced, and all of that involves a transaction. And so it doesn't matter what's going on. Yes, there might be less inventory. Yes, there might be higher payments. And yes, people might have uh, you know, basically prohibitive situation where the rates are so high, they're not able to get in the market and they're still having to make the landlord rich by virtue of being a renter. But that doesn't mean that there aren't transactions happening. The only question is, are you going to be capturing them? And if you're not being proactive and strategic and intelligent, working smart versus working hard about going after that purchase market, chances are that business is gonna to go to your competitors instead of you and you're gonna be left in the dust. And that business is gonna fly right over your head and go to substandard competitors who don't care like you care, 
who don't bring value like you bring value that don't bring expertise like you bring expertise and the clients are going to have to settle for substandard solutions by virtue of you just not being in the game. So that's why it's so mission critical. You get in the game and make this a front burner priority. Those who are asleep at the wheel on this are going to be left in the dust. You know it and I know it. And that's why you're watching this or listening to this. So it's time to get in the game on that. And the seventh reason why it pays to get in the purchase business and to be proactive about it is because it's more fun and more fulfilling. Is it not more fulfilling when a client sends you an email or sends you a thank you note or sends you a voicemail with just emphatic gushing gratitude and praise for what you did in their life, the fact that you changed their life, the fact that all these other lenders turned them down and you managed to pull it off and pull off a miracle, the fact that they're so excited they never thought it was possible and yet you helped them do it. The fact that they've never even thought that they would ever be in such a beautiful, exquisite home and they're just so delighted and excited. They're so jacked over the moon about the fact that this beautiful abode now is what they call home. Like the energy around that, the excitement around that, the fulfillment around that is off the chain, right? When you think about your favorite client who if you were to be asked, which client did you serve that had you feel most delighted and excited, that had you feel most fulfilled? Chances are it was a purchase transaction. True. And why was that? It's because you changed their life in a real meaningful way. And it was more than just saving them a few pennies. It was a life altering experience for them that every day they're waking up into their dream home, waking up in a whole new experience of life. It changes the fiber and fabric and rhythm of their life. When they get into a home that they're delighted with, it changes everything, not just for them, but their entire family, their spouse, their kids, hospitality, just the culture and energy in their home is forever altered. And so you get to be part of that. You get to be a catalyst who makes that kind of a difference. You get to be the conduit of contribution to make that kind of an impact in someone's life. So it's more fun, right? It's more fun to have people gushing with gratitude for you. It's more fun to make that kind of an impact. And it's more fun to make more money while you're doing it. Why the heck not, right? Why not get rich and have fun doing it? You have that opportunity in the mortgage business if we get you working smarter as opposed to just harder. And that's precisely why people come to us is to learn the secret sauce on how to do that. Now, if you've been listening to this and perhaps you're uh, south of the Canadian US border, my friends in uh, the US of A, and you've had your cage rattled as of late with this whole Fannie Freddie uh, refi fee. And after listening to this, it's just reaffirmed and confirmed that you really need to double down on the purchase market. Or maybe you're a fellow Canadian in uh, Canada who's wanting to figure out how to get more purchase business, but you can't really, you know, you've been trying, but it hasn't been panning out because realtors aren't giving the time of day. And this consumer direct advertising thing is so complicated and it costs so much per lead. And then these leads are crap and they're not converting. You're trying to figure out all these different things. And so perhaps you're in a place, whether you're a newbie or a veteran, where you know you're capable of more, you know you need to get in the game in the purchase business, you know that there's got to be something better than cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday. You know there's got to be a better way than that. We're in the 21st freaking century. There's got to be a better way than using Chrome Magnon methods from the dark ages. And intuitively, you know that you want to be able to flip the script so that realtors need you more than you need them. You don't know how, but you know if there's a way to do it, that's the secret sauce right there. To flip the script so that these top producing agents need you more than you need that you need them. And if you can crack the code on that, that changes everything for you, right? So that now you can make a proposition where instead of them being put off with another overture by another loan leech, just trying to suck them dry of leads and referrals, being a mortgage parasite, we're flipping the script entirely. Now you've got the cookie. Now you've got what they need and they need you more than you need them. And now instead of you feeling 
like you're groveling and having to kiss ass and chase and beg and bribe, you've got the cookie. You're in the power position. And now instead of you feeling like you need to measure up and you feeling like they're interviewing you, we're flipping the script. Now you're interviewing them and we're seeing if they measure up. That's the kind of dynamic we want to shift in the game. The shortest path to the cash is and always will be attracting top producing agents to make you their exclusive. The question is, how do you do that? How do you do it in a way that's elegant, that's simple, that's fun, that puts you in the power position, that allows you to stand with your head high, with your shoulders back and your cape on, owning your power, maintaining your dignity to that next level and create that breakthrough. We'll show you how to do that. We'll show you what that looks like. If not, we'll be the first people to advise you to pass on our services. Perhaps recommend something else or someone else. Either way though, you'll leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, chances are more clarity than you've ever had in your entire career on what it really takes to create a breakthrough in your business. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, I invite you to book a breakthrough call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. It's 100% free, complimentary, no strings attached, our gift to you. We're just gonna have a real talk, honest conversation about where you're at and where you want to go and what it's going to take to get you there. And if we can help you, we can't help everybody. Not everyone's the right fit. So this is not a sales conversation. This is an honest conversation to see if we indeed can help you. If it is indeed, then we'll show you what that looks like. But if we have to sell you on your breakthrough, frankly, you're not ready for your breakthrough. So this is not about a sales conversation. It's about an honest conversation to get real about where you're at in your business now, what it's going to take to get to where you want to be, and if we can help you. So if that sounds good, book the call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. So we've just covered the seven big reasons why it pays to proactively pursue the purchase market. I'll cover them again real quick, just to make sure you didn't miss anything. Okay, the first one is, it's more reliable and predictable. The second one is more dough per deal. The third one is it's driven by referral, best source of leads ever, pre-cooked and pre-tenderized. It drives more, the fourth reason is it drives more five-star reviews. And of course, that brings you even more referrals straight from Google. And it converts more leads because of that trust factor because you are preeminent and trusted as a legit provider in your market. The sixth reason is it's more recession proof than the refi market. And last but not least, the seventh reason is it's more fun and fulfilling. So I trust you've taken those into account and it's just a healthy reminder. We often need reminding more than we need educating. So chances are none of that was new. It just gave you more hangers, more distinctions and more reminders on the things you already knew to be true. And hopefully again, that anchors in and galvanizes you into committed action to not just treat this as a optional luxury, but treat it as a mission critical must and a front burner priority in your business. So if indeed you want to put the turbo juice into the situation and to be able to turbocharge your success, with pursuing the purchase market. You wanna learn from the experts who've been in this game for 15 years, who've got this thing oiled to a finely oiled machine, then again, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, this is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast, mortgagemarketingcoach.com. It's been a pleasure to serve you today on this podcast. If you dig it, please go to Apple iTunes and give us a five-star review. We'd love to hear about your feedback and we absolutely love five-star reviews. So hook us up if you think we're worthy and go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action with gratitude, joy, and confidence. And chances are you will get massive results. Goodbye, everyone. We'll talk to you again soon. Peace.